Welcome back everybody. We're going to take you for a quick early pepper tour. The purpose of the video is to give you a quick glimpse at some of the varieties that I'm growing. Some of them are quite rare. Hopefully we can do pretty good with them this year. I think we will. I'm not too much worried about the aphid thing going on. However, I wasn't going to grow peppers in my greenhouse this year, but because I'm doing so many doubles that I have no choice but to, um, uh, you know, grow them in the greenhouse. So, Let's take a look at some of the varieties we got this year and some of what we're going to go over a little later on during the year. So over here, first thing we want to talk about is the Capsicum Bromboidium. Now this plant here is roughly probably, I don't know, I think I started Rhomboidium somewhere in 2016 or 17. So even if you said 2017, that's 18, 19, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It's about six to seven years old, this plant. This plant's got some age on it. And as you can see, there's the stump. That thing is an old, gnarly old stump. It comes up with a real woody branches. It's doing quite nicely. It's not as leafy right now for some reason. Very slow growing, as you can see. Let's see if we can tune you in here. Uh, there's flowers on it. And now, these flowers only appear on this plant on one or two stems at a time. It's never fully flowered, and I, I don't know. It just appears, it, it makes flowers on just a couple stems, and that's it. It's happening, it's actually flowering really early this year. It's the first time I've seen it flower this early, so that might be a good sign. But that is your Capsicum rhomboidium. Here's your Capsicum um, cardiansi or cardinisi. And uh, it's this is its second year or third year? I think it's its second year. I didn't write it down. Isn't that great? I think it's its second year. It's just either second or third year. I'm pretty sure this is its second cycle because this was just a little plant over the winter. And now you can see it's already got, it's already getting woody stems on it. Um, it shed most of its leaves already. And so now it's just starting to put out, you know, shoots now. And uh, the leaves are going from like a sort of like a rhomboidian type shape of leaf back over to what it really should look like, which is more of a a longer leaf shape, which is, uh, you know, like a regular pepper plant leaf. So, yeah, at first when a plant was new, they kind of, the leaves looked like this, like rhomboidium, right? So this is rhomboidium, right? So it looked kind of like that, but now that the plant's getting bigger, it's maturing, it's starting to exhibit a different leaf shape, which looks more like a regular pepper leaf. So that's your Capsum cardiansi. It's only a couple years old. Hoping to get flowers off it this year. I've never got it to flower yet, but we'll see. And uh, if it does, and we are in good shape. Now, uh, in the back over here, see if I can get you in here. See this thing right here? Right there, this thing. Now, this is called Capsule Flexuosum. A lot of my regular study viewers already know what that is, but some of you new folks out there don't know what this is. This is called Capsicum flexuosum. It's it's more of a tree than it is a plant. Actually, all of these are either more trees or bushes than plants. Um, this thing now is probably either 2017 or 18. So say 18, that's 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. It's about five years old. This plant's been around a little while and I plan it for it to be around much longer, long after I'm probably gone. Hopefully somebody who inherits it continues to grow this plant. Um, so it's got some age on it. You can see that the stems are getting nice and thick and woody. You can see the base is like almost like regular wood, like a regular tree. You can make furniture out of that if you want. Uh, this plant, basically, the thing about Capsicum flexuosum is, is once it originally came up and it made this canopy thing, like if you look at the structure of it, it's kind of like a canopy. That Once it makes that canopy, that's the shape of the plant. It's never got bigger than that. I don't know if they get bigger than that. I don't think this plant gets too much bigger than, say, four feet in its prime environment. So I don't imagine it gets too much bigger. But what it does is every year it puts out a new shoot. So, like, here's the new shoot for 2022 right here with my hand, the one I'm holding. That just came up this year. And every year it puts out a new shoot. So right from the initial twist, you like when this came up, you had two here and then you had two here. So you're looking at this shoot here was a new one. Uh, I believe this was a new one at one time. There's this one now. And something down here put out a shoot one time. So it's about three or four years old, maybe five years old, this plant. And um, it just keeps producing flowers 24 
seven, uh, not 24 seven, but 365 days a year, this plant does nothing but produce flowers over and over and over. It's all it wants to do. So I always have fresh seed for the capsicum flexuosum. And you kind of need to do that with this plant because the seed doesn't last very long. So when people order seed for me, they're getting nothing but absolutely fresh seed because I winter this plant. And uh, you're going to get the best of the seed. So you're getting seed from a very well-established plant. And I put it in here among my tomatoes, mainly. And it's because this plant is a canopy plant. It's, a, it's an undercover canopy plant. It doesn't like to be it, there too much in direct sunlight. This plant seems to like to be... It likes sunlight, but it kind of it. If you if you shade it out a little bit on top with other plants, it it really gets green and starts really growing. Right now, it's thin and kind of bare looking, and dropping leaves. It just doesn't like direct sunlight. It really doesn't. So I put it among the tomatoes. So maybe the tomatoes will shade it out a little bit, and maybe it'll. Uh, we'll see if it does any better. So those are my three capsicum plants over here. Over here, we have um, now all of these plants you're seeing here. All the way up here, all my starts. We'll take a look, quick look at where are you? No, not there. Over there. That. All those starts. Then there's the pile down there. And then I got a pile over here. Now, these are all duplicates or triplicates of plants I already have out in the garden. And so everything here that you're seeing is doubles, triples, even quadruples in some cases of these varieties because I just need to use the seed up and get it done and planted and I need to make, absolutely make sure that I have enough seed for the end of the year for these varieties. We ain't going to go through what we went through last year. Absolutely not. We're not going to tolerate it. Insects didn't win. I did uh, ultimately in the end because now look what I'm doing. If they want, if the insects wanted to destroy my crop by increasing their, their reproduction rate, well my solution to that problem is to increase the amount of plants I grow by the thousands. So that's how we deal with the insects and they, they're not going to win. Sooner or later, I'm going to win. <laughs> and here we go. So anyway, some of the varieties we got. We got Cobanero. We have Tallis Sweet. We have over here Saint's Kiss. Miss Junie. I don't know what this is, guys. You read that one for yourself. Pause the video. We got Leviathan, Gnarly Scorpion. That one's going to be sick. Uh, we have uh, Purple Peach. We got, I don't know what that is. You can figure that one out. We got Thai Red Hot. I got about six of those pots of those plants. For some reason, I kept planting that over and over. I don't know why. The seeds would not come up for like a month, a month and a half. They wouldn't come up. And then all of a sudden, because I'll start seeds in all new trays, but I'll leave the old ones around like I do with, the, like I do with that. Like they didn't pop, but like a month from now, all of a sudden, a few of those might pop. Well, that's what happened with this. They started popping all around the same time. It was like really weird. They needed to reach a certain temperature for them to pop. And, and uh, when they did, now I got all these Thai hot peppers. And I'm not chucking them. We just grow them. We got Japones. We have the Capsicum, Glapsicoense. This is the type 2. This is the furry version of the plant. Uh, it, it, there's there's basically three phenos when it comes to clap, ga, uh, cla, uh, uh, capsicum glapoense. There's like a tall, leggy version, which is one of the ones I sell. And then there's this one, which is like an intermediate version of clap, uh, Galapagos, clap, Galapagos Galapagoense, or whatever you want to call it. Um, there's an intermediate version, and then there's a real small, shrubby, stubby type version. Very, it's very pubescent, very small, and uh, that's a third type of variant for this that I've seen out there. This, I think, is the intermediate version. It's like the one that doesn't get quite high, but it's very pubescent, and um, uh, it, it's, a, it's a very hardy variety if you could get it to sprout. I still am looking for the short, stacky version of this uh, variety. So this is type 2, and I got the type 1 grown. We'll probably come across that. Here's the brown jalapeno. Ahi agua agua. Agua agua, or something like that. We got that one. This is an old plant. I'm surprised it's still alive. We got Bodhi. Almost out of seed on that one. Violata. I'm not sure what that is. Some Maybe some kind of a... i got to look up what that is. It's Violata. There's Cherry Hot, Rocco Pica, Rocco Pica, that one's doing really good. Uh, then we got a Ricotto, Ahi Ricotto right here. Ahi Ricotto, which is that thing, it's beautiful, it's getting nice. Uh, we got Cap 691 right here, I've got a few of those pots. Wild Brazil, Capsule and Latium, 
Criolla de Cocina. That one took a beating, but I think we can bring that back. And look, you see it's been separated. Took a beating. Uh, we got Guatemala and Chilla Tapin right here. Guatemala Chilla Tapin. Uh, we have over here Albab. We got to hit that one up again. Yellow Monster. That one's got to get done again. Uh, Madam Jeanette, I'm not sure if that's going to make it this year. Next year is going to be a priority grow. If it doesn't, if we can't pull off Madam Jeanette this year, then next year has got to be a, a priority grow on that one. In other words, I might have to set up like maybe 10 pots of that and just go like either that or I'll just do like a, uh, a whole row, just Madam Jeanette's. Because there's a lot of demand for it. A lot of people are asking me for it and I just don't have the seed. Just haven't, I just haven't had luck, you know, with the variety. I should have started it from new, but I didn't because I thought I had an, a plant from last year, and I did, but it's probably going to die. That's one of the few that might not make it. Uh, new Mex Twilight right there. Where are you? New Mex Twilight. Then we got Ahi. I don't know what this is called. Purple Splotch. Ahi Cha something. Purple. It's a purple splotch. It's a real strange looking thing. Over in the back over there, we got uh, Bikino Amarillo. I don't know what that is. Urfa Biber. I have a couple of new ones. I start Urfa Biber all over again. Urfa Biber, just so you guys know about Urfa Biber, that was like a temporary replacement for the Aleppo pepper. People were selling Urfa Biber uh, in its replacement, and a lot of people were turned off by that. But it gained its name in the pepper world because of that reason. And so... I figured I'd grow it out and kind of just show it to you, do a pod review on it. But that is the Urfa Biber. Okay, so over here we have the Ancho Chili. Now, this is the original Ancho Chili. It's it's a... Um, I know people are going to argue with me about the whole Ancho thing. We'll get into that when we do the review on it. It's not the Ancho that you're thinking of. So we'll go over that at another time. That's the original Ancho. It it uh, matures red and not brown. Here's Oily Paste Pepper. This is one of the last plants I got in that one. Don't have any more seed. Sugary, sugar rush stripey. I got about 10 pots of this stuff going around in different areas because I bought from like four different vendors. I bought sugar rush stripey. And so we're going to see if uh, all of them are consistent or if there's any variations in the sugar rush stripey. Because some people were telling me that the sugar rush stripey um, was putting out different variants. So because of that reason, I figured I'd try all these different vendors and see if, they, if they're consistent. Over here, Chocolate Beauty, this one's, I'm almost out of, I'm completely out of seed on that one. Farmer's Marker Jalapeno, that one took a beating, that's from last year. Capsicum Lanceal Adam. George Ousis, I don't know. I don't have seed for this anymore, and I can't even buy seed for this. Whatever that says, I don't know, you figure that one out. Uh, we got Bulgarian Rattan, that's the original seed for that. A lot of people uh, have been demanding that. I went to several websites to get Bulgarian Rattan. Can't seem to find seed anywhere. However, I did get a plant going from last year, and uh, here we are. So hopefully the Bulgarian Rattan survives. I, I actually have uh, two other potfuls somewhere around here uh, of this growing. So I'm definitely going to get Bulgarian Rattan. We'll be able to offer seed at the end of the year for that. Here's the original bird's eye chili. Okay, so bird's eye chili. That's the original seed from the original vendor from like six, seven, eight years ago. And uh, I managed to get a few of those sprouted. Uh, so, yeah, we got bird's eye chili. Uh, we have Bane Strain, I think, peach. Bane Strain peach. Yep. In the back over there, we got the Big Bang Theory over there. We got Little Elf going. We have Seven Pop Primo Orange. I have the orange. I bought the red version, and the red version is not happening, I don't think, this year. Which, I always like to get the original... Um, the original stuff, it started off with Red Pop Primo was the original one. And so I got the seed for that, but it's not popping. We got shoe pepper going here. These are all going to get repotted too. These are permanent. They're going to stay in these pots. I don't care if they get big or not because this is probably, most of this is what I'm going to bring in for the winter. And most of the stuff outside, which I have duplicates of, are going to stay out there. I'm not ripping them out. Uh, we got Trinidad Scorpion right there in the back. We got the Trinidad Scorpion Dogla. We got Mini Ricardo right here. This is the yellow version. I have red and yellow. So this is the yellow one. I'm completely out of seed on that one. Uh, here's that Chilahuco Amarillo, whatever, uh, Kalahuco, Wallahuco. I don't know how you say that. Uh, Amarillo. That's the, um, now somebody was telling me. Uh, somebody from Mexico was telling me that that is not the true version of the Chilahuca Amarillo. Uh, this is just a blonde version or something of it. That's not the original one. So 
but it is. It looks exactly like the Chilahuco. It looks exactly like the uh, Chilahuco pepper, the Nigro, Chilahuco Nigro. It looks exactly like that, but it, this one's blonde in color. So I don't know what to say about it. Somebody was showing me the original version. I don't know. We'll have to get into that when we do the videos on this. Okay, so down here we got what's known as CGN 24360. That's very rare. Almost impossible to get seed for. We got Ear Bob. We have Quintisho. This has been, I've been trying to grow this for about two to three years now. Had no success growing it. Now we're growing about 30 plants of it because I'm not giving up. I'm going to get her going. Uh, we got the honey panel number two. A lot of demand for honey panel number two. I am out of seed on that. Uh, a lot of people just um, love that pepper. And I do agree. It tastes a lot like honey. So we have a honey panel one and then a honey panel number two. I bought them from Pepper Lovers way back in the day. Uh, they sent me those to grow. And um, the honey panel number one was a regular type smaller pepper. And the honey panel number two was a large version of it, but short and stocky. It's a real strange uh, type of thing. Honey panel, meaning it's like a, a honey jalapeno. It tastes like honey. Uh, it's a very good pepper. We'll review that later in the year. Hopefully. I don't know if I'm actually going to get to doing all these reviews, but... We're gonna we're gonna definitely hit a lot of the highlight ones for this year. Uh, Buna Molata, Buna Molata. That's another one that I've been wanting to grow for years. Here we are in the back. We got Red Savina again. I got to do a review on that. A lot of people have been requesting me to review that. One. We've got the Ahi Chakaluka S splotch something. Looks like a flat UFO thing. It's gonna be really cool. We got Pockmark over there. We got Chipotle here, and then over here we got. Brown, more jalapeno. I don't know what that is. That might be a jolt tomato. I'm not sure. Not ahi, ricotta again. Thai, violata. Again, these are all doubles. Uh, Car Cardo Donola. I'm not even sure what that is. Oh, here's one I that, that I've been working on. CRX3, I'm calling this... Um, what am I calling it? Hell on Earth, I think I'm going to call this one. Hell on Earth. This is a wickedly hot one. It's another one of my creations. Uh, we'll talk about that when we get to that. Hopefully it grows and it comes somewhat true. Uh, if it does, then maybe we'll do a review and we'll talk about it. Over here is the Weary Weary. Not the Berry Berry. Seven Pot Jonah. We're doing that one again. Uh, Pimenta something. I don't know what that is. Pimenta Keaxo. Well, I don't know what that is. We're growing it. Two more uh, farmers markets. Some more jolt tomato, I think. Okay, up here we have the USDA version of the capsicum cardiancy. I have two variations of capsicum cardiancy. From what I understand, there's probably about four to six uh, types of capsicum cardiancy, um, and I only able to get roughly right now two. And I believe the flowers are different. That's the only way to tell the difference between the two. So, yes, we got USDA version of Capsicum Cardiancy. I believe that one's there is the regular Capsicum Cardiancy. But I got more than that going. We have not Capsicum Parvifolium. Uh, a lot of people requesting that seed. I ran out of seed. I can't get the seed anymore. We are growing it again. We'll grow it out. See what it looks like. We'll do another review on it. Cap 691, we just showed you that. We got PI 28, 13, 17 in the back over here let's try to show you that one and then over there we got new max april fools i love that one i can't wait to get that one a lot of people are asking for the hand jalgo i think that's how you say that this is the nebula over here we got bubble gum white right we got twin tisso again we got cgn 21 500 we got fidalgo roxa now last year's fidalgo roxa i got from a vendor very well known pepper vendor in, in the uh, pepper world and they sent me peppers. A lot of people are saying that's not Fidalgo Roxa. So what I did was is I contacted somebody I know in South America, Brazil. And they said um, they have the uh, this pure strain of Fidalgo Roxa you could ever possibly imagine. So I'll send you some seeds. And that is what this is. Now this is supposed to be the, the true truest version of what Fidalgo Roxa is. That is what it's supposed to be. I have this one. I have another pot somewhere else. But that is what that is. So hopefully we can get the true Fino of this Fidalgo Roxa uh, uh, on track, and then I'll, I'll label it on my website as so. We have Black Panther in the back, right there. I can't see in the screen. Right there, Black Panther. We have Hidalgo, whatever, 10, Afterglow. That's the Afterglow one. Max Ike. Now, this is somebody, this was sent to me by somebody in Mexico as well, and this is a very strange variety of pepper because 
Some people claim that it's the world's smallest pepper. I don't know that much about it. It goes under a couple of different names, but Max Ike is how I received it. And um, whatever information I get on it, once we get to that point, we'll do a review on it. And then we will um, we'll, uh, hopefully offer if it grows. Hopefully it don't die. This year is a kind of a funny year. We got Tehrani, right, from the city of Tehrani, Tehran in Iran. It's a uh, capsicum uh, frutescent variety that's very rare and hard to get the true variation to this variety. Very, very hard. It's hard to get. I see other people selling Tehrani pepper on, online, and it's not the correct version. This is the correct, 100% correct version of it. it. It's I got it from Pepper Lovers originally, and I was fascinated that they actually had it. So I was very lucky to get that from those days. It's, it, the seed doesn't last forever, so we're regrowing that. It's a very hard variety to actually grow and master because it, it, it'll put out fruit and it'll stay green for three to four months before it starts turning red. And when it finally starts turning turning red, it literally dries on a plant while it's turning red. It turns into a dried pepper almost instantly. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen in my life. So, yeah, that, that one's a real... We've we got to concentrate on getting that back online. A lot of people asking for that one. Bico rocks. I don't know that much about it, but it is in a roxa type of pepper. So once hope it's like more of like a bird pepper, but it's somehow a roxa. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens over there in the back. We have capsicum exile or exile. I'm not sure how you say that. We got about maybe ten of those plants going this year. We're gonna definitely get the the exile going this year. Or exile. We're definitely gonna get that one going. Um, so yeah, you expect to see some of that hopefully by the end of the year. We'll do some reviews on it. Uh, we got the mini olive ricotta over here. We also have uh, Benny Heinlands. This is another. I, I'm a very big fan of this this one here, and and um, I've been glad I came across True Seed to it. Uh, this is Benny Highland, so it takes me some time to source these out. We got Jay's Peach Ghost. I grew that one year. Now this is a very rare one. This one's called Clingers, uh, Florida Grove Pepper. You can't get seed for clingers anywhere online. You have to get in touch with somebody, the original guy that uh, harvested and stored those seeds. Uh, that's the only place you're going to get the original clingers um, seed from. So these are supposedly the original clingers. I got lucky. I have seed for it. And hopefully the this is true and it's the right variety and we can review it. It's the largest of the all the bird Florida Grove peppers from Florida. So... Hopefully it comes true. We'll do a review on this one later. Keep your fingers crossed on that one because I do not have any more seed for that. And if that dies, you'll never be able to get this variety again. It's completely gone. I don't even think it's... I don't even think this has been submitted to the seed vaults in the uh, USDA or anything like that. Over here, we have... Uh, Keystone Giant. That one's a good one. Again, I have Keystone Giant going in the garden out there. Uh, but in here, we also got it. These are probably the ones that I'll bring in for the winter. If they don't produce fruit this year, I will have to winter them. Uh, Isabella Island Red Habanero. Isabella Island Red Habanero. I love these island peppers. I'm really big on them. More Cascabel. We got to get we got to get them online. Now, there's two versions of Cascabel. There's a larger version. And from what I was told, there's actually a slightly smaller version or a smaller version of the uh, Cascabel pepper. So I'm not familiar with that, but I am reaching out to other people from Mexico to try to work with me on that to explain a little bit better in detail what is going on with the Cascabel pepper. We got C C22 Stinger. Now, this is supposed to be a real wicked looking one. Very, very hot. This one here is the one that everybody should be concerned about because if this plant doesn't make it, it's pretty much game over. I have this one and a couple more other plants. I happened to get seed from this from the USDA. I passed it them and passed it them. They finally sent me seed, not even what I wanted. They just picked the seed that they said, here you go, have that one. And I grew it out, and here it is. And so this is Griff 1539. This is Capsicum Eximium. Uh, it's a very strange variety. It's a, it, I can't even explain to you it's, what it's like. You'll have to just wait for the review at the end of the year. I think I did a review, but we'll do it again. Pray that this thing stays alive and that we can get seeds off it so I can offer it at the end of the year. If I don't, If it doesn't happen, you'll never see this one again. Probably ever because I don't think I don't know anybody out there who's ever grown this variety. So hopefully we can get it going and get the seed out there for you pepper collectors. We got yellow Santos over there. We have yellow bell number two. This kind of looks like, well, how should I say? Kind of looks like Bishop's crown, but it's very tiny. It's like the size of a, just a little tiny pepper, and it's a bacadum and it hangs down. It, they, it's called yellow bell number two. It's not a bell pepper. It's a bicatum, and it's very small, and it hangs down. Very long stem to a long calyx on it. Very interesting. We'll see what happens with that once it comes along. 
And we have uh, White Jalapeno here. That's going to be interesting. We got Erotica. That's going to be really, really interesting. I've been looking for that one for a while. Or for Biber again. Tasmanian Black. We got Dulce Moran. I'm out of seed on that. I only got a few seeds left. Hopefully, I can maintain the Dulce Moran. It was a Pepper Lover creation. Um, you can't buy to seed anybody. Nobody's carrying the torch anymore. I'm the only one who's doing it. Hopefully, some people, will, if we can get this to make seed, you'll carry the torch on your own thing. Grow it out. Carry the torch. Continue it on. If not, it's going to disappear because I can only maintain so many varieties. Eventually, I'm going to burn. We got Odaham uh, Chiltepin over here. That'll be pretty interesting. We'll review that at the end of the year. We got Purple Bleeder here. We got Naga Brain. I never grew that one before. Some people are telling me that's already old school already. It's been around for like ever. And so, yeah, uh, we'll grow it out and find out. We got the Gabaca Rocks. That's one of those peppers I've been growing for, I don't know, three or four years now. I never got the thing to flower. It's one of those pain in the neck varieties. Is it Kabaka Roxa? Oh, no, that's that one's p p uh, Kabaka Peach. But there's a Kabaka Roxa I'm growing somewhere, too. Maybe, maybe we'll hit it. Um, I never got that one to ever flower or anything. It's, I can't get, no matter what I do, I can't get it to flower. Oh, God. Here we got Big Caramel Mama back here. We got the uh, Peach Gum Tiger V. Got Peach Gum Tiger V1. Now, there's a V1 and a V2. These are Mojo Pepper varieties. Uh, they're almost completely extinct, so hopefully either you guys who originally selling the seed will continue to grow and carry on the legacy. If not, I'm going to have to do it, but even I can only do it for so long, and then after that, somebody's going to have to carry the torch. That is going down in history, hopefully as a, uh, a staple variety for a lot of uh, people who are Mojo fans, and I was a big Mojo fan of his peppers, so uh, don't let it go, guys. Keep that one going, uh, if we could get seeds from it, of course. We got the Quintisso Bacadum variety. Now, it, it, this thing here is a Bacadum, and uh, the other Quintissos I don't believe are. I think they're Chinensis. I don't know. What We bought it anyway. This is a Bacadum variety, and the other Quintissos are whatever. Over here, I don't know how you pronounce this. <laughs> You, you could pronounce that one. I don't know how you pronounce it. Something with an X. Over there in the back, we got the red... Uh, what is that? Oh, Peruvian white in the back. That's the little... Those are the little Peruvian habaneros. That's called Peruvian white. It's a little different than the bullet habaneros that I've been selling, but that's a Peruvian white. We got Big Red Mama right there. We have Chocolate Habanero. We got Sweet Peach Habanero. A lot of people have been requesting that one back in stock for a couple of years now and uh we're finally getting around to growing it i know i'm a little behind the times corno di toro i grown a corona i've grown a coro corona di the other one i um there's another one which is a small little version this is the de toro the larger version we got cgn 19198 Right there, CGN 19198. We got Kumari Depar again. Yeah, they look a little small and beat on, but uh, it's still early. Major transfer shock. Takes about a month to two months for them to come out of the transfer shock, but once they come out of it, they'll be about two feet high in about a week, week and a half. They'll explode like you wouldn't believe. So you just need to get through this, this right now, but... Just focus on the names. We got the Zopai. I got two or three plantings of that. We have Hand Grenade. I don't know if it's going to make it because this one just burned off. It just didn't like my soil and it didn't like all the transfer and all that stuff. So there it is. Here we go. This is the one that everybody keeps asking me about. Hellfire Blood Streak. Now I have I have the Hellfire Regular, which I tried growing. They didn't sprout. I got to get with the Gabrielic Acid. I'm not doing it this year because you can see I got my hands full. We're concentrating on the blood streak variety right now. We want to keep this going. If this doesn't make it or produce fruit this year, I'm probably going to drop the whole deal. So hopefully we can get some fruit out of the blood, the uh, hellfire, because the seed for the hellfire is getting really old and uh, the germination rates are dropping dramatically. So I went from, you know, there were 10 seeds here. Where we just got two plants. So just to give you an idea that the germination rate is very low on this, but if we could get this thing to fruit and I can get some fruits off, we'll do another review on it. Then I'll make it available, and then you guys can grow it for yourself and see if it's something that you might want to try. All right, so down here, we have right there, we got brown egg, St. Lucia's Gross Islet Pepper. That's another island variety. Uh, Rhino DD, that's going to be nice. We got Death Spiral here. PI215134 right there. In the back, we have Ahi, what? Ahi Chambo. I'm um, not familiar with that one. That's not the Chambin, Ahi Chambinchko. 
Chabinchko is the same thing as the Capsicum Exile. This is Chombo, but we're growing that one either way. We got more Naga Brain. This is our second version of Naga Brain. So we got a couple Naga Brains up there. Zimbabwe Bird Pepper, right? And I have two kinds of this. I have some regular Zimbabwe Bird, and then I got a uh, Zimbabwe Black Gator Jigsaw. This one was taking a beating for a while because of the uh, insects, but now they're coming back. We cleaned them all up. Peach Wasp. Again, I have multiple uh, plantings of all of these, these, these plants you see here. So this is Peach Wasp. We have Peach Gum Tiger V2. All right, so this is Peach Gum Tiger. This is the V2 version of it. So I got V1 and V2. So uh, hopefully, hopefully we could do reviews on that. We got the Bleeding Borg 9 running right there. Zamora Akabar Cassini over here. A lot of people requesting that one. I think I'm almost out of uh, seed on that one. Look at this. Look at the aphids on this thing. This thing was clean. This is clean two, three times a day. Look how many aphids are on this thing right now. That's unbelievable. Where did they come from? I, I clean it every single day. The thing's completely infested in one day. Like, unbelievable. I have to literally come in here two, three times a day to literally clean and squish the aphids. Unbelievable. Uh, we got Defco. This is um, going to be an interesting variety. I'm not familiar with it. Maybe some of you guys got more experience with it. We got some more Fidalgo Roxa. I think that Fidalgo Roxa in the back is the original Fidalgo Roxa that I got from the other vendor. And maybe they got the Roxas mixed up. I don't know. That's the other Fidalgo Roxa. It looks more like a Cherry Roxa, but that's the Fidalgo. We're growing it out again. We'll see. We'll compare them. Da 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 da. We have CGN21566. That's another one everybody keeps requesting. We have uh, Yellow Fire. Look at that, man. Yellow Fire. Here's the Griff9148. We have Primo Lucifer. Look at that, guys. I got a couple nice examples of this. This plant is really hardy. Oh, uh, you got to go back here. Uh, Galapagos Long. There it is in the back. That's the uh, Galapagos Long. A lot of people got back in stock requests for that one. So hopefully we can get that to bump and get some seed. Uh, Shishito. We have Isabella Island right here. We have T.S. by Maruga. Oh, Trinidad Scorpion Maruga Yellow. This is a yellow version. Never really got that much seed out of that. Hopefully, we can get it to bump this year and get a couple of pods out of it. Diamar. I'm not sure what that is. Ricato Ria Haldago. I don't know what that. What, what does that say? That's what that is. I don't know. You figure that one out. Uh, we have uh, Bane Strain Speech Peach again. Orange Santos. We had the yellow. We got the orange now here. We got Calico running along here. Orange Ripple. This is another one I'm also quite interested in. I like these te these peppers with these tails. They're really attractive. I think they're really sexy. Uh, we got the BTR Scorpion. We're going to do a review on that later this year if I'm still alive. We got Tyranny again. We got another Tyranny running. Uh, Sereno Tampiqua. I'm not, you know what it, you know which one it is. It's the Tampiqua, I think, version of the regular Sereno. So I guess that's specific to a city. Over here, we got Harold St. Bart. Now, there's a regular form of it, which I think is like either orange or red. And then it was a green version of this, which I tried to get from uh, Pucker Bus Seed Company. And uh, they, they were DOA, no, no sprouts from that one. So don't buy the green one until he decides to grow it out again and get some viable seed. Friarillo, that's a distance. Another one that's uh, very popular. A lot of people are actually talking about that and asking for seed. Let's take a really quick walk over here. Holy mackerel. Okay, we've got more so pie. We got ISE. We have uh, Calico again. We got Jelly Bean there. That's different. We got Bane. I don't know what that says. Ban Germanin Banson. Got we got that going. We have Ahi Rosita. We have Puma right here again. We got that. A lot of these are double. I'm just kind of running through them really quick. Uh, Myra, that's like a white type of bell pepper. We have this. I don't know how you pronounce this, guys. I don't know how you pronounce that. We got that. Whatever that is. All right, we got that. We got Midnight Dreams. It's a black bell pepper type. Uh, it's a little different than the uh, Black Beauty. We got, I, I don't know what that is. Mirasaka, purple, whatever. Hopefully, we'll be able to get uh, reviews on some of these. And uh, I'm, I'm just showing you what I got in here. So I'm not going to read every one that's outside either because a lot of these are doubles from outside. Uh, we got Black Square. 
Uh, we got Queen Larry, Pippins. Uh, let's see here. Hawaiian Kona is another variety. I've been growing for years upon years. Never got it to fruit or flower or anything. So hopefully maybe the seed's different on this one. I don't know. Uh, it's, a, it's a native variety from what I understand. It's native to uh, Hawaii. Uh, long thin cane. We got Bootla Gold. That one's kind of dying, but I, got, I sprouted. I got new sprouts there. We got Jibito. Uh, Zamora again. We got Matapeno. Here's some more Matapenos. We just used up the seed that we had. Just get them sprout in case it doesn't make it outdoors. We always got a backup here. We have uh, Charnero chocolate. So I have a variety that I created called the Charnero. It was a cross between a Charpita and a Habanero. I called the Charnero. I have a regular version and a chocolate version started coming out, which is much smaller too in Shfino. So it's a it's almost like a bird pepper uh, type of thing, and it's brown. So, called the Charnero Chalky. We got goat pepper there. I don't know what that is. We got brown egg again. Uh, here's some of the, um, we'll show you that on the other table. Those are some of the mutant varieties that are crossed out there. We got purple. Purple Beauty. This is one of the hard ones to get. There's three variations of Purple Beauty. Some are actually purple, some are black. We're growing them all out. Pockmark again. Uh, Ahi, Ahi, Ayu. Uh, more mutants. Let's see here. Just take a quick look. More shoe. Jeez, I love the shoe pepper. Hornet. That's one that we're growing. That's new. More Quintisso. Ahi Cyrell. That's another one that's quite uh, asked for quite commonly. Amarillo. We got Cap. 1220. That ought to be interesting. Very big on the wild peppers. More 9238s. That's basically like a, uh, you know, it's a brown. It's one of those brown type peppers. Uh, we got Primo Lucifer again, blah, blah, blah. Mate, this is one that I, I was excited to grow because I bought seed originally from uh, Pepper Lovers and it never sprouted. But uh, I managed to find another vendor who has Mate, and so we bought it and now we're growing it out. And, of course, we got all of this stuff. We're not going to get into any of this. We got Capsicum Tavari. Where is it? Over here, we got uh, Capsum Tavari right here. We got a couple coming up on that one. Uh, more Cardiancy 1, Cardiancy 2. We got Chiltepin. Uh, Taluxus from a certain part of Mexico. Let's take a look over here. So, more peppers over here. We got uh, Leviathans, Gnarly, I think. I got like three or... F I have like three or four different forms of uh, Leviathans. So, we got a couple of them going. We got the Cherio Rocks right there. Uh, Les Pythel, blah, blah, I don't know. <laughs> Can't pronounce all these names. We got Purple Taj Mahal. I'm hoping that one makes it. It, it kind of burned off. Because of uh, just transplant shock and everything. So hopefully it comes back. I'm able to bump it up and get a few pods off of that to do a review. We got this thing here. I don't know if I how to pronounce that one. Uh, somebody told me about this pepper. Purple. There's, there's a regular version and purple version. It's a purple version. So hopefully that one comes through. Scarlet. Uh, we got Reaper. Uh, Carolina, Carolina Reapers. We're redoing it. We did get the Ghost Jammy to sprout. That's a peach. Where are you? Peach Ghost Jammy. That's it. I put number two because I bought it from two vendors. Got one to take. Uh, Prima Tali. That's going to be really fun. I got a couple new ones sprouting because this one, again, took a really bad uh, transfer shot. Transplant shot. I really screwed it up. We got Ahi Charpita Red, I believe. Then we got Jelly Bean again. We got the Beast right there. The Beast. We got that going. Uh, Candlelight Mutant. Then you got like these. Are all, these were all different variations of mutants. We got the Unchu. Mutant by something. We got that one. We'll go over those when we get to it. There's another mutant, right? Uh, more uh, Griff 1539. We've got more of those. That's again, if these don't happen, you'll never see that variety again. You can't get it anywhere. Uh, PI 28, 28, 1, 28, 13, 17, right there. Yeah, it doesn't look good, but it'll be fine in about a month. More exactly. Uh, Ethiopian Brown, We've grown a few more of them. Uh, Cap 501, even though I said I'd never grow this one again, eh, we'll grow it again. Uh, it doesn't make seed, it puts out hundreds of pods, but they're seedless. It's a seedless variety, I guess. I don't know. And over here, this is a uh, 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 Kamari. Uh, no, no, this is a. Uh, what is this called? Paito de Mosa. This one right here. This is, their tr this is a true form of Paito de Mosa. Went through a lot of trouble to actually get that one. A lot of people are selling Paito de Mosa, and it's not even a true version of it. That one is. All right, so let's see. 
We got Mustafa, more Habanero. We got Lil, Lil Black, or also known as Black Tapine. That's the original Black Tapine version. You see a lot of pictures on the internet of it, but you can't get seed. Yeah, that's it right there. And we got uh, Kobinchko. That's actually Capsicum Exile. More Peach Wasp. Jay's Peach. Got a few more of them going. Uh, and Anastasia. There's something right there. There's something new. We got Purple Reaper. Yes, we got the Purple Reaper running. And over here, we got a Russian variety. It's probably a sweet pepper variety, more than likely. I'll do. I'll show you the packages when I do the review. Uh, Ricot Ricotto Costa Rica, right here. That's what this is. Uh, Big Bang. We're doing another round of that. We got rattlesnake going there. We got more Russian variety right there. I can't see what you're seeing, but we got more Russian. Here. We got Red Gum Naga Brain. That one's been requested quite a bit, so we figured we would regrow that one. Hopefully, we get some seed out of it. I don't know what that is in the back. Uh, let's see here. Goat's weed. All right, so goat's weed large. It must have hybridized with, like, I don't know, a, a jalapeno one year. And so now I get this weird goat's weed that comes out of it. So we grow it out, and it's called goat's weed large. And so a lot of people like that one, so we're growing it again. Chili cane. We have more Zoha, Zohoa, um, Bohemian something. We got Bleeding Heart. A little Nubian. A lot of people like that little Nubian one, so we want to do a germ test on it, but well, we'll let it grow out anyway. We're doing pretty good with the germ test. We got uh, Brain Strain. I rebought Brain Strain because I want to make sure I got the right pheno to it, and so I bought it again. So we're growing that out. We're getting purple flowered Bacadum, uh, so we'll see how that works out. We got Big Caramel Mama, Jalapeno something. Oh, uh, let's see here. Scarlet Lantern. Something Sereno Tampiqua again, more uh, uh, Pink Tiger. I don't even know how you pronounce half of these names. Oh my god, I'm running out of air here. It's absolutely cooking in here, guys. It's like 110 degrees right now in this greenhouse. Uh, Last Stuka. I don't know how you pronounce it. And we got this. I don't know how you pronounce it. More chocolate habanero. I've got, got a lot of chocolate habanero uh, growing. Uh, Rewit, Re I don't know, it's an African variety, I think. Then we got Peter Red, we got Grown Peter Red, we got Hot Cherry, uh, Zimbabwe Black, uh, or Don Ordorno, uh, I'm not sure what that is, Patagonia, Tiger Jalapeno, I think that's a little black again, um, or no, Lilac Bell, Lilac Bell over there, I don't know what that is. We got Zulu going, chocolate something. Oh, chocolate candy cane. It's a chocolate version of the candy cane pepper. Leslie, right? Uh, orange ripple, more orange ripple. Seven pot, seven pot Lucy, seven pot Lucy. Corbacki. Ah, oh, he fantasy. Candy cane regular. Peach tiger. A lot. Some of these are just like I, a gamba in the back. Some of them are like Russian varieties. I can't even read them. New Zealand spinach. We got little egg, uh, eggplants going. They got to get planted. Those will get planted probably in here somewhere. I'll put them out there once I, once I, uh, once I'm done in here. We got Hungarian hot wax. There's Hungarian hot wax and there's Hungarian regular wax. That's a hot one. Here's more for Dago Roxas. I think these are again from the original, the original. Um, uh, the original, the, the, not the original vendor. The um, these are these are supposedly the correct phenols for that, according to what I'm being told. And uh, Longhorn, um, Thunder Mountain Longhorn, right there. And of course, my peppers out here. Not much to look at. That's pretty much. There's some out here that's not in there. I'd say maybe 20% of the, what you see out here is not in the greenhouse, right? So most of these are a one-shot deal. See if there's anything I, I can notice. We got a psalm over there. We got a psalm there. Um, a lot of these ones that are on this side over here, these are all from last year. This is what remained out of 240 varieties. I only ended up with maybe about 30 in the end. 30, maybe 40 varieties. 200 of them died. So took a real big loss on that one, guys. Big time. That really hurt, man. I lost some varieties that I can't even get seed for anymore. Really hurt, man. I was almost in tears. 
Uh, let's see here. Is there anything to look at here? We have uh, some of the Ricardos. We've got Ricardo Suyuya. This is an old one, too. So we're going to get plenty of seed off of that. This is going to get, this is going to put a lot of, it's going to put out a lot of peppers here. Whatever that Ricardo is. I don't know. I can, I can, you got to understand, guys, I can't even see the screen to read anything right into it. So it's very hard for me. The sun is virtually snow blinding me every time I come out here. We have uh, Ear Bob over there. Cap, 1491. This is a real interesting one. This is a, I'm not sure. I think this might be a Pretamisium variety. Pretamisium or Persimisium or something like that. It might be one of those. Uh, here we go. Ricardo Cedra. Cedra? Cedra? Ricardo Cedra? That one you can't get in the United States just about anywhere. Just only, if I can get seed from it, I'll offer it. Uh, we got Mushroom Yellow from what I'm being told. Um, uh, that's an anum. And there's something about I was told about that. I forgot what it was. Ahi Jobinko, Jobinchko, uh, Benny Highlands. We've got more capsicum. Um, Laddio Lansom over there. Never got any fruits off of that. Oh, my God. What else we got here? We got um, Queen Larry in the back room. We got, we got, um, I'm not really looking at the name. Here's capsicum exile. This is a nice big plant. This one's going to do really good out here. This, hopefully this plant gets like three, four, five feet tall. Uh, we'll show you what it looks like at the end of the year. This is another one that a lot of people are asking about. This is uh, this is the BBG7 MAMP, but this is a full black version. So we're growing out outdoors this year. We really want to see these these pods get super black. Uh, they're going to be great to do video on this year because the calyx is on them covered down halfway down. The, the unusual thing about this one is, is that the calyx literally goes halfway down a pepper like it's wearing a sock. And eventually that splits and it peels upwards. And you got you to see this thing. It's really weird, man. There's pickles. Keystone. I think that's Keystone Giant right there. Going to get some good bells off of that one. Um, we got Ricotto San Isidro right here. I believe that's what that one is. Over here, this is uh, called Solanum uh, Pseudocapsaicum. It's the Jerusalem Cherry or Jerusalem. I think it's called the Jerusalem something. Jerusalem cherry and so it's not really a solanum. It's not really a capsicum It's gonna be a real weird thing. It's it's a, it's a toxic fruit I'm, I'm not gonna eat the fruit and taste test it. We'll just do a little uh, video on it and Kind of introduce you to what it is again. We got some solanum varieties here beans grown. We got a cap 867 that's a that's a ricotto version, but it's a CAP uh, designation. So yeah, that'll be really cool we have a uh, Kamari Alongado, two versions of it. This is the one I bought seed for, and then there's another version over here, which somebody sent me seed for. So I think it's the same thing. It's just uh, one's doing better than the other. This one's actually starting to get ready to go into vegetative growth state. We got Purple Bleeder there, Azteco. We got Gamba going there. Uh, let's see here. Anything special to point out? Um, we got. Um, Violet Sprinkles over here. That one's really going to make some really nice peppers this year. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that one will uh, do really good. Uh, what's that one? THSC. This is a black habanero. That's going to be fun. There's there's Matapeno. That's a Matapeno over there. And it's going to be fun. Here's some more of that Hangdalgo Afterglow. Uh, Cap 1220. Purple Bell Pepper. There's all different variations of Purple Bell out there. It's ridiculous. They're all going to the same name. Let's see. Kamari Pollux. That's a Capsicum Pretamissium variety. That, that plant, because it's being grown outdoors and it's getting like maximum sun exposure, that plant should get to like four or five feet tall and put out thousands of pods this year. I'm probably not even going to be selling it by seed. I'm just going to sell it straight out by the pods. You order it and just give you one or two pods. Whatever it is, it is. Just uh, dry them out in the sun. They dry out right on the plant, basically. Uh, cask is that Cascabel? Yeah, we got Cascabel out there. Oh, good. I hope we get plenty of pods off of that. Um, let's see here. Black Scorpion over there. Uh, let's see here. We got all kinds of stuff in here, guys. There's, there's the uh, Olive uh, Mini Olive Ricotto. That's going to be really interesting. Yeah, they, now you can see that these plants really don't look good right now. They look burnt and they look highly traumatized. In about a month and a half from now, I'm going to do another garden tour. It's going to look completely different than what you see right here. You're going to be like, holy mackerel. Did that, is that, 
you just got to hang in there, guys. When you plant, transplant your plants, pepper plants suffer more than tomatoes. My tomatoes are suffering transplant shock, but nowhere near as bad as what pepper plants go through. And so part of the reason why you see them and they go through this three to four week waiting period before they start, decide to go into vegetative growth state is because the soil temperatures in the ground cause the plant to artificially go into a state of dormancy. This is the problem with uh, peppers and tomatoes. It's a very big problem. Um, unfortunately, us up north have to deal with it more than anybody. So what am I talking about? So what happens is the soil temperatures out here are still kind of cool from the uh, winter. And when you transplant into that, it triggers the plant to go into a state of dormancy as if the plant was coming into fall. And because of that reason, the plant stops growing because it's it's stunting. It's not stunting. It's just going into dormancy because the, the cold ground is artificially telling it, hey, get ready for fall. Hey, we're getting ready for the frost. You need to start putting flowers out. That's why oftentimes you'll see all these plants are all flowering right now. You, you don't want that. You don't want that. So what I should be doing is going around and clipping the tops off of every single one of these. And then once you do that, the plant, it triggers the plant to like say, oh, wait a minute, it's not fall. And then it says, oh, we got to grow in vegetation growth. And so the plants start becoming, you know, vegetatively, they grow vegetatively, right? So that's why you have to deal with that, guys. When you transplant outdoors, you're going to have to keep in mind that the temperature of the ground and as well as um, there's several things. Transplant shock is a general term used to describe several things that happens. You have transplant shock encompasses uh, basically thermal shock, uh, photo shock from the sun, and pH shock, along with other shocks associated with uh, different nutrients and, and uh, bacteria and other organisms like that. So there's several other shocks that the plant's not used to that it really stresses the plant out and that's why they stop growing. But the main reason why you see these plants all turning yellow like this and they stay like that for like three weeks, the whole reason for that whole thing is because of the thermal shock. And that's why you see them look like this. In about a month from now, these plants are going to be about anywhere between 12 to 18 inches tall, covered in green leaves. You're not even going to recognize this place. And that goes the same thing with my tomatoes there on the other side. You can see they're all going through the same thing. Like I said, in about roughly give and take about a month, um, everything's going to flip the other way. So hopefully by the end of June, July, you'll see two foot tall plants here. Well, and once we get them up to that stage, then we'll bring you back out here and we will do another uh, garden review. I kind of wanted to walk you out early just to show you what happens when you plant and don't let that get you down because you're going to be like, oh man, it's the end of my growing season, dude. It, they're, they're not growing. They're small. They're not doing anything. That's because they have to overcome the shock that they've been through. So once they overcome that, don't worry about it. They'll come back and they'll grow better than you ever seen before. So just hang in there, stay cool, and they'll they'll when they're ready, they'll start going into vegetative growth and you'll be fine. So just don't get panicked. Don't go digging them up. Don't do anything else. Once they're in the ground, leave them there. Just make sure that the insects ain't over chewing the leaves. Get rid of the slugs. Water them on a regular basis and just hang in there. It'll take about a month to a month and a half. I've seen them stay in shock like this from transfer shock. I've seen them literally stay in that state for as long as two months. Literally lost two months of growing. But then right after that, the plants would jump from what you see here to like two feet tall in about a, two and a half weeks. You'd be like, holy mackerel. And they're covered with leaves, pods, and everything everywhere. It, it'll blow your mind. So just keep that in mind. I'll bring you back again once I get, you know, once I get them that tall and I'll bring you back again and give you a, a mid-season. You won't even recognize this place. It looks all like empty ground and everything. You're not even going to recognize this place in, in roughly about a month, a month and a half or something like that. Hopefully by mid-July. If it's any later than that, then I'll be behind the times a little bit, but I'll still get something. But anyway, guys, that's really about it. I just wanted to give you a quick pepper tour of my pepper plants and once I get things going I will do an update for you and uh, we'll take you for another tour and just kind of go over everything hopefully things will be a little bit more developed and you'll be able to um, see what things look like as they get a little bigger so anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you on the next one take care